Well, Townsville certainly didn't miss out on the Melbourne Cup action. Hundreds celebrated at the Ville with fashion, fine food and punting. While pre-prep students at Townsville Grammar were cheered on by parents and teachers in the annual paper horse race. There was plenty of horsing around as hundreds revelled in Melbourne Cup celebrations at the Ville. Bubbly flowed and selfies were snapped. Today's probably here is the racing is second and the party is, is first. Profits from sweepstakes went to Ronald McDonald House Charities. It's wonderful to be able to, to get glammed up for a good cause. Plenty of colour was splashed about in a fierce fashion contest. We just like the black and gold theme together. We saw the dresses advertised together. Many had a flutter and took a punt on the favourite. Get on it, Yucatan. Others had more unconventional methods. I think runaways born on my birthday, so and I'm a runaway bride, so it sort of fits. When two o'clock came, they jockeyed for position to get a glimpse of the main race. The agony and ecstasy of punters drowned the room as cross counter won at long odds. It was a really good win in the end, so I can celebrate a little bit longer. The competition was just as hot here at the Townsville Grammar Turf. The pre preps took part in their annual races. Students picked their horses' names before the 100 metre dash that stops the school. Parents and teachers cheered them on, and Principal Noel Nethery auditioned for Bruce McAvaney's job. One two at this stage, anything could happen with 200 to go. Sign of a misspent youth, I think, really, <laughs> spending too much time listening to race callers. In the process, passing a national institution from one generation to the next. Josh Martin, 7 News.